are my night owls. I know it's extra early. But I told you guys, like, I got to get in where I fit in. When my kids fall asleep, I have to take advantage of the situation and jump on live. So today, guys, as you can see from the title of my video, I'm going to be creating some bows. For those of you who do not know, I am hosting a bow swap, and it is called Pucci Boho Swap. So I put the hashtag in the title. I'm going to be creating a playlist and I'm going to be adding any videos that have to do with the hashtag. Anyone who uses the hashtag, you are more than welcome um, to use the hashtag. If you have some inspiration, if you have some tutorials, or if, you wanna, if you're in a swap and you want to share what you're creating or you want to share what you receive, whatever the case may be, I am creating this playlist so that we can be inspired by one another so that we can network and we can meet new people hey sandra and all that good stuff okay so i'm gonna be creating that playlist this will be the first video there and again if you guys have any tutorials or whatever use the hashtag Bucci boho swap hey San uh gina and i will add it to my playlist okay um so of course i'm gonna be playing i gotta play with this collection a couple times before I play with my other ones. This is the With Love collection from uh, Prima by Frank Garcia. And uh, you guys know yesterday I was talking about it. I got it from Urban Gems. Use 10, Pucci 10 to get another 10% off. Um, so I just went ahead and die cut some stuff. Guys, I don't know about you guys, but like lately, for me, like when it comes to die cutting, I'm just like, ugh, I don't feel like die cutting. I don't want to do all that work. Um, and I do have some bow punches, but these are mainly going to be um, the main, what is it, pink and main bow dies. Hey, Veronica, welcome. These are the pink and main bows. Let me show you guys. Um, Tara actually has these in her store. I'm not sure if she still has them, but she did have a bundle where she had, I think, three of the sizes and one for $20, which is a great deal. Um, I didn't know... Tara, I know it's always known Tara, but I didn't know about her shop and all that good stuff when I had ordered these, or else I would have totally ordered them from Urban Gems. So I'm using those. I cut out some of those, and I also use one of my anti alley dies. Let me show you guys this die. It's pretty cool. I have not ordered from anti alley in forever. Don't pay attention to that tag. That's a Tuesday morning tag. Let me see what you guys are saying. I feel like that sometimes, especially when i get my in love arts yeah girl it's just a hassle to pull out that big ass machine and get to cranking especially with bows you have to like cut quite a few pieces so this is a bow die that i got from auntie alley years ago all right so it has two layering pieces it has the regular edge and then it has a layering um stitch edge piece and then also for the back part the same thing so you can layer it it's got the stitch edge i love anything stitch guys like stitching is is life and then it also comes with these i've never used these yet i haven't used these um but i bought these like around easter time i thought these would be perfect for like easter so yeah that's that um when it comes to alley you gotta just like search guys sometimes they're not selling the same thing sometimes another seller is selling it so just search up like bow dies and you guys will find a ton. Hi, Melissa. Welcome. I ordered some bow dies from Amazon. Yes, the Amazon got some great bows. I've been looking too. Um, but I'm really trying my best to just use my stash. So that's what we have, guys. We have these here. And of course, you guys already know I'm going to try to use some tool and we're going to create um, a mix shaker mix because i want to do some like shaker bowls you guys already know how i put these together but i thought it would be fun if i came on live and did it with you guys sorry guys i'm just looking around for stuff because i think that i have everything situated and i don't Let me grab one of Ava's wipes. Hold on, guys.
Sorry, sorry, sorry. I always think I have everything prepared and I never do. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, something just poked me. Okay. So I got this cup. It's all dusty. I don't make no crusty, dusty sequin mixes. Let me get the dust up out of this cup. All right. Hey, Wendy. No, sorry. <laughs> Hey, Dina. Welcome. I got the cutest arm bowl. And my design team kit for In Love Arts. It makes a wavy bowl, but it's small. That sounds cute. Hey, Veronica. All right. So let's go ahead and make a mix, guys. I'm going to be using the With Love. And I found this from Lila. You guys know I love that Etsy shop. She always has those Mentopia dyes that I'm obsessed with. This was a free gift. And how perfect is this mix for a base? I'm going to make a lot of this just because I want to use this within my projects. Because I want to play with this collection for a few projects. All right. So in this collection, there's like a lot of like light pinks and, you know, a lot of pinks and mints. Oh, guys, I want to tell you. So, I always store my um my sequins in these Cartwright. You know, it comes with that big case and then all these little ones in there. These take up so much damn room. Let me show you guys what I did. I took one of those, what do you call those? Those iris bins. And I didn't um organize it yet by color. But I put all of these inside iris bins so that I could have all my sequins right in front of me when um I need, like, you know, a, co a certain color or whatever. Let me just throw some stuff that I want to play with. Hey, Cheryl's. So that's a, a little tip for you guys. If you guys, you know, want to um, have a better way to store your sequins, I just find that those little carts, those little boxes or whatever, they're annoying as hell. So I like that um, I could have all these in an iris bin. It doesn't fit in my calyx, but that's all right. I just like sit it on top of a table or something. Okay, I'm just trying to see what I have here. Did I put the green one there? So what's everyone up to? Do we have any bow holes in the house? that one and I think that's it I think that when you're creating a sequin mix it's um it's good to add like a variety of like sizes and, and you know different kind of sequins I think it makes for like a really pretty mix all right so we got that as our base I'm just gonna be throwing some stuff in here Ooh, where my bow hose at hey Kristen I hope I'm saying your name right. I don't know if it's Kristen or Christine. I always say that. Hey, Natalie. What's going on, girl? Uh-oh, we got the sequin queen in the house. Don't come for my mix, Natalie. Yes, I love Cartwright's little, Cartwright's little tiny sequins. Christine. Thank you, Christine. I'm sorry. Hey, Gabby. I hate getting people's name wrong because I hate it when people get my damn name wrong. So please forgive me, Christine. We got some bohos in the house. This is like a um, darker green, but I'm just going to add a tiny bit. I'm hoping that, yeah, it'll look minty. A little razzle-dazzle. How pretty are these tiny-ass sequins, guys? Look at how cute their tiny ones are. So cute. And let me see. I put the names on some of them. Okay, obviously not these right here. These are dark pink. These are the 2.5 flat iridescent ones from Cartwright. A little razzle dazzle. All right, I want to add some of these. This is probably one of Natalie's mixes. She'll be able to tell. 
at least this i think this is one of the mixes from your shop okay and then i want to add some of these You guys can add, see, look, I know you know your shit. I'm gonna add some of these. I bought a big bag of these because I love these. This is the ballerina pink. So you guys can get sequins everywhere. You guys know where to get sequins. I used to get a lot off Auntie Ellie. That's pretty. What do you guys think? I think I need some more mint. I got these mint. These are huge though. I don't know if I want to add them. I wish these were a little smaller. These are from Creative Mojo. Creative Mojo Studio, I think. These are my precious. Look at how pretty that mint is. Might be a little bit big for the bows, but that's all right. Oh, look at how pretty, guys. All right, I think that's good. I always tend to overdo it. Like right now, I want to add some white. Should we add some white or leave it like that, guys? What do you think? Look at all that bling. Should we add some white or some more pink or leave it as is? Hey, Pia, welcome. I'm still waiting on stuff I ordered from Ali Oyager. You already know how it is. Leave it. Okay, we're going to leave it. So, there goes our mix. Look at all these. Y'all know I don't like to waste sequins. I don't care what Sandra Natalie got to say. So, let's go ahead and curl our bows. I'm just going to use whatever I have on hand. This is that stitch bow, guys. Look at how beautiful it is. From Auntie Allie. So, let me go ahead and just... I should have did this beforehand. But guys, I'm telling you, when my kids are sleeping, I got to hurry the hell up and get on here because you know who's ass. He would just, he'll wake up after two hours like, okay, let's start the day over again. I hope I'm not missing anybody in the chat. I'm just going to go ahead and curl these. These papers are so damn pretty. I kind of want to use this side on this one. So I just um, went ahead and die cut a bunch of different papers and stuff. Mm, let me use this side. And you guys can always like mix and match. So this is the pink and main bowl. I'll mix and match this one. Which side do I like? Hmm. Hmm. I'll go for this side. Let's start with this big one. Let me get my tool. My precious. Hey, Angel, what's going on, girl? And let's see how I'm going to do this. So I just have, I haven't tried this yet. We're trying it together. Let's see how it works out. Hmm. All right. And you don't have to worry about like covering every piece because a lot of this bowl is going to get folded over, you know? I'm so terrible with my glue guns, guys. I leave them on for hours and I just forget about them. It's terrible. So do you guys know this is how I love to do my tool shakers? I just add some glue and kind of mold the tool to whatever um, you know shape. I think she already messaged her, Sandra. I'm 
always leaving mine on. I got a backup one anyways, so I'm like trying to test the waters with this gun anyways. So I've left it on overnight a couple times and it's been fine so far. Okay, so see right here? I'm just gonna fold this part over, I guess. It really doesn't matter because we're gonna fold this. Hey Kayla. So I don't know how many of these we're gonna make because this looks like a lot of work. <laughs> but we're just gonna try this out because I wanna give some inspiration to my bow holes. I wanna create a few tutorials on some bows ideas that I have. Cover it up anyways. Alright. So let me go ahead and put some sequin mix here and then I'll seal this corner. too little and i don't want to put too much i think that's good so let's seal this side off i got so many projects guys that i want to do with you guys on live and i feel like i never have the time for it I've been making mini bows and doing my best to stitch on them. Oh my god, girl, I wish I can stitch. Those are going to be amazing, Pia. I cannot wait to see them. I'm already getting, like, so many, like, DMs of bows that the girls are making. And I'm just like, damn, look at how cute, guys. I love it. Gucci, I was thinking of adding the glitter mix around the bows. Yes, girl, me too. Oh, I can't wait to see it, Veronica. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Beth. Okay, girl, show it to me. All right, I'm gonna glue it right here because I wanna get a nice little pocket. But do you guys see how easy this is to create a shaker with tool? Super easy. Whenever I can add something shaker or tool, I'm doing it because I love it. All right, let me get all that in there. Maybe a little bit more. I'm doing okay, girl. How are you? All right. I think that's good enough. And I'm going to go ahead and seal that. Because I want to layer another bow on this anyways. So I don't want to do too much. You guys know how I am about wasting stuff. I can't waste no sequins. I can't waste no paper. And I damn sure I ain't wasting no tool. All right, I'm gonna cut the excess. This is from um, Auntie Allie. This is from Auntie Allie. They have this tool actually, Kayla. It's a darker pink color at Michael's. You can get it at Michael's. And they also have it in the mint color, which is really pretty. I actually just ran out of it. Um, and the mint color looks like this from Michael's. We made the trees with. It has the uh, sequins or whatever you call it. I'm saving my fingers for crafting it. <laughs> so I'm just cutting off the excess. And then there goes our little shaker bowl. Let me make sure I get all this stuff nice and down hey Devi Devi are you officially a boho now I always scare you when I'm cutting stuff why hey Bobby welcome guys I've been coming on here hella early okay I think that's good 
So let's go ahead and form our bow. Oh my God, so beautiful. Debbie says she don't got a lot of bows, a lot of bow dyes. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know you are not a virgin boho. This is the pink and main bow. This is this one right here. It's the biggest bow that I own. I'm like, Debbie, you're going to have to run through a couple bows before you say you a boho. Okay. And then let's do this side. I'm putting it on kind of wonky because I want a I want a lot of it to show in the front. I don't know any virgin bows. I clean Amazon out of bow dyes. Oh my gosh, girls. I have a lot of premise bows, if that counts. What is that? What is premise? How cute. And you can kind of move your shaker bits in the tool. What do you guys think about that? I think that's pretty. And then let's go ahead and layer another one in the inside. So guys, I don't have this plan. We're just kind of playing together. I kind of, I just had the idea of doing this tool and making it a shaker. So from here, we're just going to be doing whatever. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. I like the pink. Let me see what you guys are saying. Thank you, Kayla. Pre-made. Oh, I'm like, girl, what is premise? The hell is that? What kind of bows are those? I thought it was some kind of weird shit you were into, uh, Debbie. I thought everybody online. What? I thought I had everybody on the market. I got. Hold on. I got. I got some. I don't. Say that again, Bobby. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyone have an extra bow dye for sale? <laughs> you know how sometimes we end up with two? Sandra, nobody's giving up their bow dyes. That one's too little. That's too baby. What do you guys think? Let's try a difference. I feel like that's the same size. Some of these bow dyes are really deceiving. Hey, Connie, did I say hi? I thought I had every bow dye. Okay, on the market. I have to... They took it away. Oh, Beth got doubles. Okay, I think this one will be a little better. So let's do this. Look at that stitching, guys. This is that, um, I don't know if it's the pink and main one. Yeah, it's the pink and main one. It's just the little extra details that make everything. Oh, I made that one wonky. It's bothering me. I have to get this right. Yeah, you guys can definitely, um, you can go online, look on Google, and look up bow dye templates. And you can um, just trace it because you know what? A lot of the you, a lot of us have that faux leather stuff, and that's just really hard to die cut, guys. So you're honestly better off just using scissors. Like when it comes to the that faux leather, in my opinion, you're better off tracing it on the back and cutting it out with your hands, which is a pain in the ass. But some of these bow dyes, like these these little thinlets, they're not gonna cut through that. All right, so there's that. And it's okay if the middle is ugly. If you have a Cricut, you can use SVG cut files. Oh yeah. I don't think I've seen Coco and Reno's bundle. All right, so that's cute so far. I think that's cute. She cute. She cute. Um, I want to add some of this. 
eyelash trim to the middle. I think this would be a cute little touch. Let's just try it out. We're just playing around and experimenting, guys. Hey, Angel. Hey, um, Rihanna. I said it right, right. Hey, Tracy. So let me just wrap and wrap and wrap. So just experiment and experiment guys when it comes to these bowls and you're trying to make them sorry guys can you see me can you see me oh god there goes sandra with her damn buffering look at how cute i think that's pretty what do you guys think can you see me and hear me my hubby called me all right what else do we want to do to this let me see i want to add some diamond dots Let's do that. Thank you, Dina. My poor husband. He's like, you always live. And I'm really not. He just so happens to call me when I'm live. Um, I'm just really trying to use my stash, guys. Whatever kind of way that I can, I want to use my stash. to send it to me lovely thank you bobby rena wants to look tiny gabby said add pom-poms to the middle oh that's a good idea i think it'll look cute with pom-poms hanging down yeah let's do some tiny pom-poms hanging down i like that idea okay let me get my little pom-pom maker actually we're gonna make these pom-poms by hand where's my other like I said, I always think I have everything ready, but I don't. Okay. I really have fun making these little pom-poms, and I'm going to show you guys how you can do them by hand. You don't need that pom-pom maker. I'm going to make little baby ones. All right, so grab your tool, I mean your um, eyelash trim, and just wrap it around your fingers. I'm going to do around two fingers. Okay, so you guys don't need that pom-pom maker. It does make it a lot easier. But for these tiny ones, I don't think it's going to matter. Okay, I'm going to do like that much. I'm going to snip. And I'm going to try to tie around it with one. Let me see. So try your best to keep it in the middle like this. Tie it around. Tie it around what you just did in the middle. Okay, and do it a couple times. I'm going to do it three times. So once again, for all my bohos and whoever else wants to join, if you guys have a tutorial, if you have an idea for some bowls that you want to create, you don't have to be in the swap to do it. You can create a tutorial. I have no problems with you guys using the hashtag for inspiration, and I will add that to my playlist so people can watch it and get inspired. So make sure that you guys are checking out my playlist and checking on there for inspiration, okay? So I'll just cut the loops that we did. And now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to trim, okay? And I'm going to get kind of close because I want this to be, I don't want it to be too big of a pom-pom. 
So I'm gonna give it like a real, for real, like a low fade. What do you guys call those? Like a number one or something? <laughs> you guys ever been to the barbershop? They're like, let me get a number one and a number two on top. We're gonna do one of those. Just keep on snipping away till you get the look that you like. Lots. I want it to be not too big. Hey Anastasia. Yes, girl, clipper sizes. But you guys don't need that pom pom maker to make pom poms. You can even use like a piece of cardboard, I think. I think that's kind of cute. Let me slip. My hair is too long. I think that's cute. I think I want to add some beads here. I'm going to see if I can add a bead or two. Or am I doing too damn much? Again, we want these um, to be extra. Hey, Carmen. We want these to be extra AF, all of our bows. So just kind of like challenge yourself. I think that this um, swap is going to be really fun. For everyone to challenge themselves you know to think outside the box of what you would usually do yeah let's do that do i have any gold no i got some gold beads somewhere here let's look in here i usually keep some extra beads on hand some gold into the mix really you could um have those little dangles ready and just loop it on there i finally caught one hey maria where you been at girl it's your crazy ass And this is actually easy to um, beat it through, this eyelash trim. Let's try to add another size. I don't want to go too crazy. With the beads. I haven't bugged you in a while. I know, girl. It feels weird. Started to miss you. Like, where the hell is Maria's harassing ass? She's always harassing me, and then she goes MIA. Come on, get in there, get in there, get in there. You guys had to hook your girl up with a link to like some kind of thread, bead threaders. Hmm. Half of my lives be you guys watching my uh, sausage fingers struggle with shit. All right, I'm skipping that one. Damn it. Mm, I don't know how this is going to look with this. Might throw it off. I don't know, guys. I'm going to try to bead. 
Alright, I give up. I do another pink one and that's it. Where did they go? But have your little, um, what you call it, your little dangles that we made before. <laughs> Girl, I know you don't like long lives. You're good. Look at how cute. I think that's cute. All right. I think that's kind of cute. I'm going to go with that. So try to tie a little knot at the end thank you connie i don't want to struggle with it, with it no more guys i'd rather use my little um dangles that i have pre-made so i'm gonna try to tie a little knot here so that these don't go too far thank you guys Bye, Wendy. All right. So let me tie this here. I want to actually glue it on the back. Like that. And then I can just wrap the rest. So there goes one little pom-pom and I think I want to do a little dingle right here so I already have some pre-made so you guys it's good to have these ready hey sis what's going on Kayla I wasn't struggling that bad girl okay not that bad I just wasn't going to go this route, and then uh, now we're here, so. Um, let me get, I was not going to do these beads, but of course, I always have to add my beads in the mix whenever I can. I want to add this little dangle right here. I think it'll be really pretty right there. Is it fuzzy, guys? Is it fuzzy for anyone else? Go out and come back, Gina. So I'm looking for a... jump ring so that I can loop this little dingo still fuzzy is it fuzzy for anyone else guys okay i don't know guys hey anastasia so i'm just gonna loop that little jump ring and my little dangle you guys need to make these dangles if you haven't seen my um video can one of you guys can one of my moderators link my video please um of us making those dangles those little baby dangles because man these little baby dangles they come in handy guys they look so cute on projects and they have us use our little seed beads that we barely use you know what i mean somebody link that video for me please So look at that. I think that's super pretty. What do you guys think? Hey, Hillary, welcome. I like that. Okay, 
Now let's do like a little back piece to this. Bye, Kayla. Thanks for stopping in. Can I make it again? Thank you, Gina. Thank you, girl. We'll make another different one, Anastasia. You'll have to catch the replay. I don't want to make too many. Um, I'll probably make another one. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see. We'll see. We could do something like this. Do you guys like this bottom piece? You want some tiny dangles, Debbie? Or this one? I think I like the other one. What do you guys think? One. Option one. Or option two. What do we think? One. I think so, too. So, again, these are those pink and main bowls. I don't know if Tara still has these in her shop. Can some one of my moderators find out if Tara has the pink and main bowl still and link it? Because if she does, you can use Poochie 10 and get another 10% off. Look at how cute. I love it. I see a lot of people like doubling them. Let's see how it looks. That's probably too damn much. What do you guys think? Is it too much? Yay or nay? No. Yes. Nay. Never too much? No. <laughs> Everybody's like... Everybody's saying yay or nay. Keep going. Yay or nay? Hey, Rhoda. Oh, God. Oh, God. Rhoda's here. I'm going to go for it, guys. We're trying to be extra as fuck, so let's go with it. Just burn the shit out of my fingers. Look at how pretty. I don't like that my dingo is like hiding a little bit by the pom-pom, but it's fine. It's all about the details, guys. Don't say hi to Rhoda. Because she's going to say hi to everyone here but me. <laughs> okay, and I think I want to add a couple diamond dots. Even though, like, it's already extra right now. But what the hell, let's just try it. Why not? Oh, thank you. So, Tara has an extra large one, guys. And the extra large one is perfect because this is the size. And you see that it makes a perfect size bow, okay? This is the extra large bow. This piece here, this piece here, and this piece here. This is from another, um, the large, I think. All right. So let me put some glue and let's do these little diamond dots and gold. I think the gold will look cute. I got this from White Birch and Co. Guys, if you're wondering. I know Brandy said that she was going to get these back in. I'm not sure if she did yet. But I paid $5 for this jewel. Gem picker. And since I don't have like my fine tip glue tip, I like to use the other end to put glue. I just like pour some down and then use this tip to uh, pick it up like that we're going for it guys I just want to kind of inspire you guys with your bows I know some people were like I don't know what the hell to do. And er, people, I feel like people are getting intimidated. Do not get intimidated by no one else's bow. Just challenge yourself. This this swap is going to be a great way to challenge yourself. Challenge your creativity. Do you. Whatever you do is going to be amazing. Because 
Nobody can do it like you, okay? Just play around with your stuff. If you don't like it, you can trash it, but I would never trash a bow because I'm a true bow hoe. Ooh, I love it. Man, I'm I'm so excited for this damn swap, man. Everybody's already been posting so much awesome shit. I'm just like, oh my god, I cannot wait. It's gonna be so fun. So make sure you guys, if you don't have a gem picker, you need to you need one in your stash. You definitely do. Okay, and I have another idea of another bow that we can do while we're here. Link the one for white birch and coal, please. I want us to, if we can, to support small businesses if you can, guys. Amazon and them, they already got all the money. They got all the monies. But if she doesn't have them, definitely shop the Amazon. I remember her saying she's going to get them, though. Hey, Tata, what's going on, girl? We're just over here being some bohos. I don't know, guys. I'm obsessed with my diamond dots, if you haven't noticed. They're just perfect, man. They just add the perfect touch. And you guys can grab these diamond dots at Hobby Lobby now. They've been having them for quite some time now. And Joanne's. Hmm. I think that if I put it down here, it might be too much. So I'm going to leave it alone. But I think that's cute. What do you guys think? I think we'll call that one done. Okay, so I got an idea for another one. So hold on, let me grab my supply for it. Because like I said, when we do these damn lives, things just always go left. I have one idea and then I want to do something else. So hold on. Y'all should chat in the chat. Thank you, Rhoda. You're still a jerk. I still don't like you, Rhoda. Even though you love my bow, I still don't like you. Yeah, 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 I found it right away. I want to use this. <laughs> Me neither, Poochie. <laughs> I love that girl. She's so funny. Guys, let's use this foil. Foil flakes. All right, there goes boho number one. Let's do some foiling on this one. Now, this is going to be a good tutorial. I can show you guys how to use this stuff. Let me close this up before I get pissed and drop these everywhere. I'm going to blame Rolla's ass. So, all you need for these flakes are wet glue, guys. Okay? Wet glue, and that's it. This shit will last you forever. If you just use it on your embellishments and stuff. Even with paintings, it lasts a really long time. So this is what you kind of do with these flakes. You kind of just like spread wet glue on different spots. Okay, can you guys see that? And you just lay the foil on top, okay? And you don't want it to be like... Just lay it down. Don't think about it. It looks really cute when it's like irregular and stuff. Wherever you place glue, place it on there. Press it down a little bit and let it dry. Okay. Let's do the other side. Hey, Maria. All right. I'm just going to kind of just blob it wherever don't matter okay and just stick it on there this stuff is really cool to add to your embellishments guys
pick up them flakes and just stick them on there. All right. So this is kind of dry. You can even use that. I use that Dollar Tree um, jot glue sometimes with this stuff because it doesn't matter. Grab a brush and just kind of like brush off the excess. With that guys how pretty is that okay just like that you can kind of be the judge of where you want to put it it's so cool guys I'm going to use like the tiny pieces. These right here. Just experiment with it. Alright. I don't want to go too crazy. I don't want to start looking like cheetah print and shit. Even though it's cool look. So just play with it to get the look that you desire. Hey Veronica. I've been on here for like an hour almost already. I don't know what's up with the notifications, guys. I'm sorry that you guys don't get notifications. You got to be checking for me on Instagram because nine times out of ten, I will post that I'm going live on here. I'm there. All right. So let's go ahead and put this bow together. I'm so sorry. I get so many inboxes. People are like, I checked five times to see if you were live. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Look how pretty that is, guys. Beautiful. Let's add another bow to it. Um, trying to see what we got here. Let's do this one. So this With Love collection is really cool too because it's double-sided paper and you can kind of, you see how I'm choosing what side I want to use. So double-sided paper is always really cool to use for your bowls because, you know, you see the insides and all that stuff and it just looks good all the way around. So if you can use double-sided paper, I would. Whenever you get these flat edges, just kind of push it, mold it. Like that. These are always too damn small. Mm. I don't know if I want to do Maybe I want to do three. Let's do three. Three layers on this one. might be the next size up maybe um any wet glue will work maria i'm using barely arts glue because barely arts glue is the shit i'm just saying also guys barely arts is sponsoring my giveaway they're gonna be giving away some new products so a lucky winner and some glue i believe so you guys get excited about that if you haven't tried barely arts glue you gotta try it but any wet glue will work mama um when i did some frames some wooden frames i used that dollar tree jot glue that just school glue any kind of wet adhesive will work is it the same damn size this is the same size guys hmm Is it the same size? I feel like I keep picking up the same size. Let's see. Slightly smaller, you think so? Yes, girl, for the giveaway. So I'm excited about that. Thank you guys.
This is the Adley dye. It's got all this extra shit going on. I'm just gonna cut it because I don't need it. Thank you, Mimi. You can get this paper at Urban Gems, girl. It's the new Frank Garcia collection with love. And if you guys shop at Urban Gems, use my code Pucci10. I don't get nothing out of that, guys. Just something for you guys to get an extra discount, okay? And she's got a lot of stuff, 15% off, I believe. Winter sale. Yeah, let's layer this bad boy up. Hey, Becca. So there's that one. And then let's do this one. Gotta make her thick. She thick. Actually, I'm gonna use this one. All right, guys, so, and then she also has this, uh, the extra large pink and rainbow in her shop, too, if you guys are interested. All right, look at how pretty that looks. I love the touch of that, uh, metallic, the foil flakes, guys. So, this, this one, it's this pink one here from Heidi Swap. I got this at Joann's, and it was on sale, and if it's not on sale, nine times out of ten, you can find a coupon. Hold on, guys, let me check on Ava. Sorry. Had to check on my babies. Oh my god. I came right in when you said you hate me, girl. It's okay. It's a lot of bitches. It's a lot of girls that hate me, girl. Don't jump on that train, Rhoda. Be nice. I was lucky to find all those Heidi swap glitters at the Dollar Tree put out months ago. Yay. Good job, girl. <laughs> hey, Brenda. Rodo, you're an ass. You're an asshole. I'm trying to think if I want to do foiling on the tail. I'm just going to do this one. I like this one. Thank you, girl. We're just trying to be extra over here and make some extra bows. This one thick. She thick. I love the flaking, guys. What do you guys think about the flakes? I think it's really pretty. All right. What are we going to do about this middle? Let's see. What do I have? What don't I have is the question. I got this from Walmart. I want to use these pom-poms right here. Thank you, Trissy. Thank you, Rhoda. Look at Rhoda trying to be nice and stuff. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. I'm going to add one of these. And maybe a little white one. And... I think it's going to be the last bow we make, guys, because I'm going, like, way over time. I mean, I could be here all night, you know? But I don't want to make these videos extra, extra, extra long. I like them extra long, but, you know, some people don't. You know? 
All right, so let's see if we can make some dangles with these. The time I say nice things and you say that. <laughs> you know I love you, Rhoda. You're my sister from another mister. You're that asshole sister from another mister. Guys, I don't know where any of my beat stuff is right now. My desk is chaos. Bear with me. Let me see what you guys are saying. Hey, Melissa. I saw a lot of bowls for the swap, and oh my god, they're all gorgeous. Yeah, girl, everybody's going ham. I'm gonna do you after this, Gucci. What, girl? What, Becca? Becca, what? What, Becca? Going overtime. Oh, you mean you're gonna make these? Let's just put it here. Let's just stick it in here. And I got this idea from Evelyn. She's um Evelyn Creativa on um YouTube. I want to use a B cap. She used B caps and it came out hella pretty. But of course, I can't find my B caps. I can't find any of my B stuff right now. Let me see. Maybe I got some in here. Hi, Christian. Welcome, girl. What's going on, everybody that's joining? We're just making some bows. I got a tiny one. Damn it, I can't find a B-cap. But anyways, use a B-cap, guys. Okay, don't be like me. Use a B-cap. And I don't know, this one might be too big. Let's see. Stick a bead on there too. I'm gonna find a gold one. Everybody who's like OCD, they'll be like, oh my god, clean that damn desk. I'm a messy crafter if you guys haven't noticed. Gold just makes everything look nice, guys. And I'm just going to string this one on here as well. I'm going to make sure that the gold one shows. And I'm just going to wrap the top. Yeah, that gold is not going to show, probably. I need a damn B cap. It's bothering me. Hey, TJ, what's going on, girl? TJ, you've been catching me a couple days in a row, girl. The name of this paper is With Love by um, Frank Garcia. You can find it at Urban Gems. And use my code Pucci10 to get another 10% off. I grabbed the 8x8 kit that comes with a ton of stuff. But she also has the 12x12 kit. Somebody, can one of my moderators link it for me, please? All right, I'll go with that. I'm 
gonna do a simple little twisty turn. Tarot's defending me. What did she say? What happened? Thank you for the likes, guys. Is Rodo trash talking? <laughs> yes, pink party girl. All right, so I would have definitely added a little um, bead caps on this. It would look cuter, but I still think that's cute. So we're going to go with it. Straighten it out a little bit. <laughs> Rhoda, don't be getting serious on me, girl. Don't be getting soft on me, girl. We thugs over here. I'm just going to go ahead and continue with this eyelash trim because I like it. Who's defending me about what? What's going on? Alright. And then I'm just going to wrap. From her husband. What do you mean? I missed it. <laughs> you better not do that, Rhoda. It's enough haters disliking my videos. Alright, that's good. I just like that little touch. I just think it adds a little something extra. It's always good to add like some kind of um texture to your project. I'm <laughs> I'm so sad I can't find my Auntie Martha scissors. So let's glue this bad boy right here. Look at how pretty. A little cute. And then let's add our little dingo right here. <laughs> I know she won't. That's my boo. Alright, I just have some jump rings. What did I toss them to? I want to make another shaker one but guys tell me if this video is too long for you and i'll log off and do another one maybe i should log off and do another one after this one um let me cap up my foil and what are we looking for a jump ring okay. i'm gonna take a shot because roto is stressing me out okay Cheers, guys. Ugh. Rhoda's stressing me out. He never used to never trip but since he'd been home and then close to work, girl. What happened? What did you, what did your husband say to her? He turned your TV off? He turned me off? <gasps> no, your hubby did not. Hey, Lori. So I'm just going to loop the jump ring in here. No, he didn't, Tata. Damn it. Yes, I am. I'm surprised you didn't leave yet, Rhoda. As soon as I say that, she's going to be like, okay, bye. I'm leaving. Let's loop this here. The pop pumps are fun to add to this, guys. I'm obsessed with these little um, iridescent ones. They got the little sprigs. you've been in my a girl he's like wait a minute nothing to be giving her the tenth my attention okay you probably got used to me you're not seeing me for a minute all right cute i think i want to add another little baby one so again have these little dangles pre-made guys 
I know I got another one somewhere. I have to have one somewhere. Okay, I don't, so we'll make one. Here goes one. Boom. Little heart one. Hey, Polite Creations. How are you? Good, uh, hon. I always forget who Gio is. Gina? Yes, a heart is going to be perfect. Let me add this little bad boy right there. Veronica, was the Hobby Lobby um, Valentine's Day stuff on clearance? I was trying to ask you. Not on clearance. Was it on sale? Was it half off? Or 40% off yet? Hey, Lala. What's going on, Mrs. Claus? That's cool, I guess. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. What do we think about this one, guys? And then I'm going to add some diamond dots on this one. Got a lot of layers going on with this one. Right. 72 minutes and two bowls made. So here's my first one, guys. If you're just joining. Got a little dangle here. We made a little shaker element. Added some diamond dots. And we made this little pom-pom by hand. And then this one, we're going to add some little diamond dots so they can kind of be cohesive. Cohesive. I'm trying to think, do I want to add the diamond dots here? I just don't want to overdo it. I think here would be cool. All right, let's go for it. Yes, girl, we got to make our bows extra, extra as fuck. AF. Pour some glue on the side. Thank you, sis. I'm sorry if I'm missing anybody in the chat. All right. Yes, layers. Oop. All right, right there and right there. Probably can't fit many, but I don't want to overdo it anyways. I just want them to be cohesive. And little touches like that will kind of make them match a little bit, you know? You know? So make sure you guys are following my hashtag on Instagram, guys, because there's already so much inspiration going on right now with the Poochie Boho swap. It's hashtag Poochie, my name, Bo, and then Ho. Spelled H O because we don't got no H O E's here. I don't know, that's y'all business. But it's the Pucci Boho and then swap is the hashtag. Okay, follow it on Instagram. For those of you who are not like tech savvy and stuff with Instagram, you just go to your search, the little magnifying glass, and you type in hashtag or pound sign. Damn it, I was supposed to put it on this one. You guys didn't even say anything. And then hit follow. And then everything, anytime somebody uses that hashtag, it'll pop up in your feed. It should pop up in your feed. And I'll also create a playlist here. All right, ladies. So I know a lot of us are YouTubers. If you happen to do a tutorial or a project share or if you show what you make or whatever the case, if you use that hashtag, I'll be searching for it. And you can also DM it to me. That will honestly be easier for me. And I will be sure to add into the playlist so we can find each other's channels and support one another. Because y'all know I'm big on support, okay? We gotta support one another. We should support one another. Hmm. 
Damn it, I wanted to put it on this one. Mm. I'm upset about that. Yes, girl. Damn it. I'm sad about that. It's all Rona's fault. You started this war, Rhoda. You started it. <laughs> Santa's like, she's talking about me not being tech savvy. <laughs> Let me tell you all about Sandra's ass. She had the nerve. Okay, first of all, I try to do a... Uh, what was that tutorial? How to do a reels? Because everybody was like, Gucci, show us how to do a reel. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to do a video. And Sandra's ass was one of the ones clowning in that video. She didn't want to pay attention. And I'm like, Sandra, that's why you don't know how to do shit on Instagram. You better pay attention. So this girl had the nerve to tell me she didn't know how to do something. And then I started putting a bunch of, like, laughing gifts. I'm like, girl, figure it out. Because when I try to teach you something, you try to clown me. <laughs> I think I should add some here, guys. What do you think? One, two, three. What does Sandra say? <laughs> I have one of those pickers. We use them in diamond painting. Got to get the daughter to get it to post it to the post office. <laughs> Sandra's like, that's about me. She's like, you're talking about us tech savvy, not tech savvy people. All right, y'all didn't answer, so I'm just going to go for it. I know when you don't but once you learn it guys you're gonna be like what the hell was I tripping about because Instagram is so easy to maneuver but Sandra ruined it for all you guys oh my jet picker she ruined it my son doing that i'd be like oh my husband's like don't do that my poor son he's all confused and shit like my mommy and my sister say it all right i'm just gonna go for it louis was throwing paper balls i tried adding to the ig stories and made a reel <laughs> at least you learned how to make a reel So guys, I just wanted to show you guys, you guys can make some, a lot of people were like, I feel like people were being a little discouraged and I don't want you guys to feel discouraged. We all have our own little crafty style and whatever you create will be beautiful and it will be extra because you pushed yourself to the limit and you made it extra, okay? So just do you, do you boo boo. Hey Deborah, welcome. What's wrong? Is it buffering again? Is it my janky service or you guys janky service? All right, so I'm just going to add these here. I'm with Sandra. Been on Instagram for years and just learned how to share a story. I couldn't figure it out before. And you know what? They keep changing it too, so don't. I, so I'd be lost too. When they brought them reels out, I was like, what the hell? Is this turning into TikTok? That counts as one bow, right? Yes, this counts as one bow. One complete bow. Cheryl's, you cannot pile 10 bows together and be like, here go my 10. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's it's not buffering. Okay, good. All right. I can't believe all this time it took two damn bowls. All right. It's no buff. <laughs> Alright. There goes our second bowl, guys. Bye, Christian. Thanks for stopping in. Look at how cute, guys. So, make sure you guys make those dangles, okay? Check out my video. I will link it in the description box below. So, you guys can learn how to do these little baby dangles. And you can hang it on all your projects. So, those are my two bowls. I don't know. Should I add a bottom piece? Let me see. Let's see if I want to add a bottom piece. What do you guys think? Should we add a bottom piece? I mean, they would match, but do I want them to match? I don't know. What do you guys think? Yes, add it. I'm going to see the majority. No bottom? I don't think so either, D. No? Both of those pretty? I say no too, guys. All right. So that's it for this video. I hope that this inspired you guys. Let me try to wipe some stuff off of here. To use some stuff, you know, think outside the box. For those of you who are just joining and missed it, we use some gold, some foiling flakes. Um, from Heidi Swap, the pink there, look at how pretty. It just adds something extra. We added the diamond dots. We did the little charms with the um, pom-poms. We got a little dangle going on. And we added some of this eyelash trim. And then for this one, we created a shaker with the tool. You guys know how I do those. If you missed it, you can rewatch the replay. And we go ahead. We went ahead and added some um, diamond dots. We got this going on. We made this tool, this uh, pom pom, with the eyelash trim from Dollar Tree, and I added this little dangle that I already had pre-made. And we just added two tails. This is the pink and main bow, the extra large one that you can get um, from Urban Gems. Okay, guys. So use Poochie Ten and get that extra. Um, I'm pretty sure she doesn't have too many of the dies left. So if you're gonna grab it, you better grab it. Thank you. All right, guys. So I love you guys so much. I will catch you on my next video. I don't know if I feel like doing it. Maybe I'll go live again. But this is going to be the end of this video for now. Bye, guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.